All right, everybody, welcome back. We are pretty close to done with this game. We only have 30 more stars that we can obtain before we get 100%. And I intend to try to get all of those today. And in that, there's four courses and two other secret stars remaining. Oh, I'm not doing that in the right place. Whoops. Camera. Camera. Lakitu, come on. Turn on your no clip, Lakitu. And so, for these last few levels, we are basically going to do things backwards. Because I'm going to try and get... Yeah, I know. I'm... I'm forgetful. Yep. So, the last few stars in this game are pretty rough. Or certainly very irritating. However, mercifully, they are not necessary to actually get. Although, this is not the level that I want to go to. I want to go to the other side here. So, we're gonna... We're gonna warp down, and I'm gonna try shortcutting better here. Alright, now, if I can just remember the geometry of how a spiral works. That would be a, a good start there, is if I can remember how basic shapes operate. So, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to do... This, uh, I forget what this is called. We'll have a look when we get in here. Wing Mario over the rainbow. Okay. This is kind of the suck. Rainbow Ride has no light coming out of it, but this course does. Okay. There. Well, there's a tell for people who are better at remembering these things than I am. Press that button enough times. Come on. Alright, so. Yes, there is a pink ba bomb around here somewhere that we can go to in order to gain access to a cannon. You also gotta be a little careful ground pounding clouds. Clouds? Well, first of all, we'll see what happens when you die. You don't die, you get kicked all the way back to the moat. So, yes, effectively, dying here, especially when you have base lives, is effectively equivalent to a game over. Why can't they just kick you back up to the clock room? The, there is a point where this kind of, like, more immersive overworld design is actually really annoying. But, you know, nothing is ever perfect, right? I didn't... Yeah, in the... The, uh... The metal cap? You get kicked back out to the moat again, right? If I recall correctly? You come out of the waterfall. Oh, I did not realize that, so that'll be why I didn't show it off, because I didn't know. Also, of course, the most irritating part out of all of this is that the camera resets because Lakitu is back to me having to hit C down in order to realign where he is. Mario, stop being stuck. Yeah, it was a bit of a bit of a sinking of the snow from soft ground type of thing here. Well, I will see if I can show that off before we go to Bowser 3, I guess. Assuming that this isn't literally the whole stream, which... To be fair, I suck enough at this that it stands a chance that is not exactly zero of that being the case. Is there anything of this, uh... Kind of birthday cake candle looking rope pillar? No, there is not. Okay, so this level, I just, I don't rem have good memory of where anything is whatsoever. And 
I suppose that a large part of that is also that, like, this is clearly designed to be disorienting, right? Or did they actually expect this to be, like, super simple that even babies could figure it out? You know? So easy a caveman can do it. It could just be that I am far less talented than the develop developers actually expect you to be, but this is just something for which there is a huge blind spot in my brain, basically. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to use Cannon A to get to Cannon B. It feels like going over there. Ooh, I forgot there was a, a coin on one of the undersides of the cloud here. Clouds? Book! Whoa! Okay, that's not what I want. Bye, hat. Hope you find your dad. And hopefully the game regenerates me at... Yeah, there we go. Now there's really no way I'm not resetting this cap, right? You fly too far into the distance. Awesome. So it has it has death zones at the level edges too. Good. Glad. This place is just kind of rude and awful, and, like, I don't 100% understand what they were thinking here. Except for, hey, we really want to do something with the wing cap. They were... I feel like the devs were extremely proud of the wing cap. Like, there is a lot of promotional art that very specifically has got the wing cap in it. In fact, I believe... It was also on the cover art of the game. I don't have the box anymore, and nor do I have the manual, but I do have the cartridge, and it's not on the cartridge. But they have a lot of little bespoke challenges for the wing cap like this. It's on the it's on the game's cover art. It's you get the wing cap, a little bit of a spoiler alert, but Mario puts the wing cap on during the final cutscene. Like, right when you grab the, the final reward from defeating Bowser to, to kick off the endgame sequence. So they were, like, really just all over the wing cap. Like, people would be super into it. And to be fair, it's a cool idea. And then you get to operate it. that up. And the wing cap is host to a slew of bugs, I'm sure. I mean, why would it not be? Yikes! Fuck. Alright, so let's see if I can't actually find that transparent cloud anyway. Don't go too low. There we go. Well, I mean, this only took me two tries to, to complete. As in, we died once. Died being in air quotes a little bit because, well, you don't entirely die doing that. So with that out of the way, we've got a few options for courses, and quite a few of these last four are either very hard or very irritating for some reason or another. However, I am going to go for Rainbow Ride, because I just kind of don't like it that much. 
Yep, 29 left. Let's see what we can do. So, Rainbow Ride is kind of the conception of what made some earlier basement levels very irritating, but writ particularly large. Ah, oh, goddammit. Good work. Nice momentum there, Mario. Because everything is super spread out. And you have no real way of getting between things very easily except for getting on these carpets. And there's death pits all around. So basically it's like, hey, here's everything that made Hazy Maze Cave shit, plus most of what made Shifting Sandland shit. And the level is three times as large as both of them put together. Have fun! Also, again, a I had no momentum there, apparently. Good, good job, Mario. You're really doing a good job. Because <laughs> Nuts Chopped Off is just at this level. <laughs> wow. As long as it didn't get Slap Chopped, right? Wait. on the rug before it disappears. Because if it disappears, well, you're stuck. Fuck! Fuck right off! Oh my god, I... I'm gonna have to turn... I think I have to just turn the camera there so I can get a better idea of it, because... Apparently, I just do not have any depth perception in that area whatsoever. Like, my brain just shuts off for it. Like, oh, hey, yeah, sure, you're you're close enough. And apparently I'm not. Getting shark to the top of the castle. <laughs> uh, Alright, now we get back to the front of the rug. A lot of death perception. No mystic eyes here to be noted. Ah! Lakitu. Lakitu, control your brothers here because... Like, seriously, this dude is hanging out and he's gonna try to kill us. Also, wow, five points. But they, they really spread out. So... I think... I think I'm going to try and get a hundred coins early on this because as you've probably guessed from how I've described this level, there is no good strategy to getting hundred coins because of everything being so scattered. Like yeah, you can come over and get, um, you can get red coins and have a start. But you'd be so far away from basically anything else that matters. Alright, uh, hit this. Alright, so to deal with this, uh... Oh, that's wall kicks, huh? Well, I just missed out on a fuck ton of coins. I may have actually locked myself out of 100 coins in this level. I don't know for sure. But, yeah, you gotta do this this big chain of wall kicks, and as we've seen before, wall kick timing is just not with me. And momentum and preserving it while wall kicking is really not my strong suit. That cannon is used exclusively for star six, I believe. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna at least do the the world tour on this level anyway, and we're going to try to get something out of this. Try being the operative word, and now 
Can I not get back up? Surely. Surely I can... Well, I mean, of course, it's not a one-way level. I... I can just go back around the other way. I mean, yeah, I just don't trust myself. I don't trust myself to be able to pull this, the side jump off in that amount of space. Because it's not a lot. However, it's pretty easy to reset that. By which I mean I struggled with that wall jump earlier. And yet here we are, and I'm calling it easy, apparently. Alright, so... As I start reaching for a right analog stick that's not there. Real smart of me. For like a frame, yeah, okay, there's... There's the problem. Now I'm afraid you've lost me. Citizen snaps! Oh, shit. That's a pretty tight area. An elephant that never forgets to kill! Ah, Futurama, what a show. Futurama was fantastic for at least some period of time. I'm not as sold on, like, everything past... past the first movie, but otherwise... not a bad series. And there's still some good moments even after those. You know, they, they kept bringing back the Hyper Chicken, so... that's always good. I'm sorry, I thought you was Call. You ever just think someone is Corn? earlier. I've forgotten somehow. Oh yeah, I, I wall kicked. Right. It was a, a short area. Which sucks, because where's my momentum at? Where's Poochie? Yeah, there you go. In Yoshi's Island, clearly. Um... A game that I suppose is likely a better game than this, but also it's a bit of a hard comparison because, well, they are very different from each other. Oh, right, don't do that, you'll bonk. I have to... I think there I have to do a quick set of double jumps across those gaps. Oh, believe me, this place sucks. You are correct, Bronco. How's it going, by the way? And everyone else, how's it going? Yeah, there you go. Gotta double jump it. Backflip. Don't celebrate yet, Mario, because you gotta... not screw that up. Although, as we've seen before, well... Well, after I'm done with this, I still have one more red coin, and I don't remember where it is offhand, because I don't remember a lot about this level. And again, this kind of fiddle-fucking around, this is a big part of why I want to do red coins early, be- your red coins. Hundred coins early. Because... 
you know, then I don't have a sequence of me just farting around in this shitty level for half an hour. Good God. Is there no better way to get to that? Yeah, I don't think we can get enough height to get to that otherwise. Double jump on the first ledge. Second jump landing on that platform. Alright, so we do this. Oh, well, that was an interesting development. Can I really just backflip up to that? I didn't think I had enough height. Yeah, see, that's the problem, is that I can't quite get a second jump out afterwards. Or if I do, it's because I'm hitting the button, you know, fast and loose. And that's not going to give me the kind of height that I need. Because otherwise, you get one of those half A presses that that one person on twi uh, Twitter, that one person on YouTube is always talking about. Turn around better, Mario. Come on. I got the one to the left already. The floating one is what I'm trying to get now, and then there is coin number eight, which I don't know where that is. Backflip here. Fuck! I was onto something for a second there. Unfortunately, I think I hit B a little too late to kill my momentum enough. There we go. Alright. Now, the last coin, which I do not have any idea whatsoever where that is. By the way, in case I haven't told you before, uh, really hard to, uh, Really hard to get hit by those bob bombs in, like, a way that actually hurts you. They can annoy you, sure, and they will, but as for hurting you, not so much. Fuck off. I've lost the timing for this now. Alright, that's better. There's the pink bob bomb. Pause. I'm hoping that basically mashing the start button gives me a better look at anything here. There's a shadow there, but I'm pretty sure that's just the fire chomp, is it not? Unfortunately, first-person view is not useful here. Down and left. Okay, I see it. Um... This is probably going to require a triple jump. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, so that's just a long jump. Um, we're gonna come back to that, because I know how to do that now, I, I guess. Oh, well, there we go, we got hit by a bomb. Okay. 
Book. I almost fucked that up. That's kind of slightly embarrassing. Please. Alright, there's more coins over in that direction, I believe. Because this way leads to... Yeah, this leads to the tricky triangles. Leads to the swinging platforms. This level is giving me a lot of anxiety. I should really put that forward, because... In case you haven't been able to tell, I guess. I heard a Goomba. Really rather have just gotten him with the kick. How dare you die, enemy, in this video game? Sheesh. Aw, oh, that scared me. Alright, anything this way other than. That's the one up. Right, because there's a, a section that's basically behind the entrance, right? I'd have to... I'd have to get back there, though, if I wanted to... This Goomba, are they this way? Swing platform here. Wow, we managed to not fall off of it. Donut lifts. Yeah, we screwed up. Uh, those reset though, I think. So, at the very least, we can. Yeah. Sweaty here, etc., etc. You know, you guys know the rest of that song, so I won't even, I won't even make jokes. You guys can hash it out yourself. Back up here. I want to have a little bit of momentum so that way I can try to get all those. <sighs> God damn it! Really? I. I'm disappointed. Alright, so. Long jump. Okay, yes, so this will take me back over here. That's... okay. We already know where that is. Alright, now I gotta remember that Lakitu has five coins when we kill him. Which, actually, the one on our side isn't exactly doing much for us. Why didn't he give up for the cause, right? Come on. Get over here, Lakitu. Hey. Unfortunately, we only got three of those five coins, but I don't think that is the end of our lives quite the way it is losing out on that blue coin switch earlier. I just remember that. Oh, that doesn't apply any pressure or anything.
Wow, okay, ni nice coin, Babam. I'm glad we had that to look forward to in our day-to-day -day lives. Nice fucking wall jump, Mario. Okay, I think we lost like 10 coins there or something. I don't like that, though. I'm gonna restart this. Well, I think I only saw another two coins. There, There's only the one blue coin on the wall kick sequence, which is nice. Is it, is it like that many? Up at the top of the area? Still, it's not a bad idea to restart anyway, because... If they're, if they're feeding you a blue coin switch, they really want you to get it. It's only 15 total, you think? Well, either way, I'll go back for them. I can and will do this all night if I have to. I won't like it, but... Nice coins, Lakitu. Glad we could have this conversation. I guess I just have to assume that that really is... ...effectively only worth three, because it seems like I can't get all the five very easily at all. And so far, we've had three, all three times we've killed that Lakitu, so... Mm. Damn it! Get in the hole! Fuck! Kiss my ass, game! I've screwed that up so many t- uh. God, I don't remember the wall jump being this fucking jank in this game. I mean, I guess, yeah. Too late. I guess this is technically optional. So, I suppose that it's less... Awful for it to be obnoxious. Uh, give me a second to read this username. Is that Peyton the Ninja? There we go, yeah. Peyton the Ninja, hello. Welcome aboard. We are... doing something very dumb. Because I figured, hey, let's try to get this out of the way. Unfortunately, the game has other ideas. Get over here, Lakitu! Come on, I know you got five coins. And we got them all this time, amazing! That's the first time we've done that. You recently started playing this game. Well... It's a pretty good one, most of the time. However, towards the end of the game, some of these things do get 
pretty rough. What the? Uh, what was that? I. Uh, that was just weird. <laughs> I did a glitch. Amazing. I got the dud. Oh, oh, this game. It's a test skill. I just accidentally did... Amazing. Oh, classic. This game is about as rough as you'd probably expect for an early 90s game. Well, early 90s. Early 90s. Well, early in a sense, and 90s, but... Uh, Either way, oh, we screwed, almost screwed that up. And see, this right after I got five points from Lakitu, which we didn't quite pull off again, and we died for it anyway. Well, there is definitely some fun stuff, but it is so not intended. <laughs> Good old early N64. <laughs> Good old, good old early N64, and really, most N64 games are deep down pretty, pretty funky. Yeah, the the camera angles are a big problem. I mean, yes, camera in. 90s 3D platformers was not good, but in Mario 64, it is a special kind of not good. Alright, so we got... We got four of those coins. Don't walk into the abyss, Mario. Come on. Oh, that got me killed. Well... <sighs> Dang. Game over. That wasn't very well done. Game over, yeah! oh, All right, back to... back to reality. By reality, I mean, I would like this to no longer be real, but... That's a whole other thing. If this continues to go poorly enough, I'll break this up by doing a couple of other stars. And... I mean, there's... A reasonable number of stars in this level that are not too difficult to get. But on the other hand, that's why I'm doing the 100 coin star here first, because I genuinely. I feel that a lot of people would probably agree with me that it's the hardest star in this level, is 100 coins here. May not be true of every level, but it sure is for this one. Oh, Bowser definitely did a little bit of looting before uh, before it was done here. Only two coins from Blackitude that time. We lost three of them. Well, shit. That's unfortunate. It shouldn't kill our total too badly, but we might have to go scavenge a little more. Okay, we haven't been to the blue switch in a bit, so... Oh, see, that time the coin from that bob bomb didn't go flying. I guess it's the game paying me back for... Getting the coin, uh, losing one of the coins on Lakitu compared to what I usually get. Alright, blue coin switch. 
we're finally back here. And I missed one of them. Awesome. I missed the freebie. I and then, where's my horizontal momentum? I I don't need to exit course, I can just walk off and it's faster, but still. I'm, I'm doing it out of reflex now. What? What happened? Yeah, the, the wall jump timing is very rough sometimes in terms of like, hey, we really need you to be very precise about this. And sometimes the angles are just... You will just go off at an angle which you are not intending to go off at. Alright, Lakitu, come here. Not interested in the spinies. Like a two? There we go. That's... that's kind of absurd. Oh, this bob is hustling me. Alright, stop. There we go. Alright. Grab the other one. I said! Stop fucking sliding, asshole. There we go. Alright. Now, can I do this properly? Is the big... the big question. Apparently not, because I lost all of my fucking horizontal momentum. I'm going to assume that that's only 10 coins that I lose, but I'm still not happy about it, because, like, what even? Alright, so let's try and actually do the side jump here. There we go. That was pretty close to just basically restarting the whole maneuver. If the camera goes to when it crashes the game, that's actually kind of great. And it's in a weird way. Alright, so... That's not how we drew that up in the playbook, but we managed to get away with the double jump! Fuck. Backflip from a little far back there. Uh, okay, Mario, sure, just decide you want to. Okay, sure.
Basically, I have to backflip up against the wall here. That's fine. Long jump. Can we do... Can we do a quick long jump this way? Yes. So we're going to go in the general direction of the Tricky Triangles. Fly Guy is probably going to... Well, Fly Guy's movement is going to be really fucking weird, that's for sure. And we're going to go back to ignoring Fly Guy for the moment. hundred and forty six coins on the stage so I've missed 11 I believe so we're we're still safe we're not happy but we're safe the one up over there All right, here's the donut lift area. Mario, god damn it, you stupid asshole. That's absolutely his fault, not mine. This ground pound fly guy. I I keep forgetting that that's like an option for any of the, the propeller heads. Is that you can just butt stomp them and they will not send you a million miles away. You stupid asshole! Where's your... As now I start descending straight into rage because where did my momentum go? Okay, I just, I didn't do the turn very well there. If I die on this again, then I'm gonna go do some, I'm gonna go get a different star instead of 100 coins. Which, you know, red coins isn't that hard to do. Cruiser crossing the rainbow is pretty much just complete this end of the, the thing. Clock has a hundred and twenty-eight. Okay. Peppa Bomb really didn't want to give up, it's one coin. Oh ye gods, that's a lot of blue coins. I'm glad I kept resetting for that. Holy shit, that is... That's 30 coins off of that switch. Well... 
Okay, so we would have been, like, really up against it on those, those previous tries. I'll come back for that last red coin in a moment. After I'm done with the rest of the coins in the maze. But a guy faking a blindfold speed run, and it was really obvious. Mm. I feel like that would be something that would be really hard to fake. Like, there's a lot of people who try to do speedrun fakery, and that is often kind of destined to fail just by virtue of, hey, if you can't do it right, you know, regularly. Excuse me. But, trying to fake a blindfolded speedrun, that is... Something that I feel that's a bit of a fool's errand, unless you already know the game that well, in which case you probably could do it to begin with. We go get the last red coin, and we have 25 more coins to get. As I realize that I've spent so much time in this area that I don't 100% know what else there is I can get. I mean, clearly there's still a... Oh, that dude's good. He's gone for good? Well, how about that? Get your ass out of here. There we go. Well, yeah, there, there's that, too. That there's plenty of materials that look like they should block your eyes out, but you can still see through. Like, I also think of, like, those those Grim Reaper hoods that you'd find at Halloween sometimes. Like, surely that sort of thing is, is still a thing. Like, you know, the sort of black cowl and it has a, a facial covering. Alright, Fly Guy, would you like to get back into the position where I can butt stomp you easily? The answer there is no, apparently. So we may have to sur so we may have to surrender Fly Guy's coins for now. Right, come on. All right, come on, you jerk. Oh, I don't want to be up here. points to go. But yeah, you guys know sort of what I'm talking about, right? Like that kind of thing. It's just a, just a black hood and it has a, a thing that people can't see into very easily, but you can see out of just fine. So, you could conceivably have, like, a blindfold where you got something like that going. You know, just made out of that kind of material. And that would be a pretty easy way to cheat it. That said, I'm kind of surprised that there's that many, uh, like, communities for, for blindfolded speedruns specifically. I guess, because I don't, I don't see a lot of that on the internet, although I know it's out there. Other than, other than Punch-Out, uh, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out is one that there's a large amount of people who do blindfolded runs of. Quite a few people I follow do, or used to do, blindfold MTPO. 
I believe specifically they all did Mike Tyson's punch out. I don't think they did punch out featuring Mr. Dream. Um, and of course, all the other games are a whole other ball of wax. By virtue of not being NES games. Because, yeah, uh, what happened there was of, I believe, Nintendo's licensing deal with Mike Tyson ran out, and then just conveniently right afterward, a bunch of horrible shit about Mike Tyson came to light. So they were like, boy, we're really glad that, that this ended up this way. Okay, the game really does not want me getting that fifth coin here, so I think we're going to just sort of call that a bit of a lost cause for the moment. And by for the moment, I mean for the rest of the run, because... Thanks, Momentum, for not existing. Donut lifts. Teeter-totters. Alright, Mario, don't get blow-torched. Can't plug it. Oh wow, those things make quite a quite a burst when they they get popped. Mario, you... Oh my god, what? Fuck you, game! I... Oh! I'm really pissed off now, because I was in good shape. And then the game is just like, hey, no. Fuck you. We were... We were within, like, 15 coins. We were pretty close. I'm just gonna go do another star here for now, I think, to... Eh, who am I kidding? I'm gonna keep doing this. Strap in, folks. We're gonna do this for the next entirety of my stream. I don't even care. And I know that there's still TikTok clock 100 red coins to... Uh, 100 red coins. That's a little overkill. I know there's still TikTok clock 100 coins to get, and some other things that are super annoying. I'm probably going to have a really bad time with Bowser 3 because I'm not good at fighting Bowser and that fight is more complicated and gets pretty hard near the end for the type of fight it is. But I don't even care. I'm going to do this stuff first. And really, TikTok clock 100 coins isn't that bad, I doubt, because crucially, you can turn TikTok clock's gimmicks off. Meanwhile, this level, it's like, oh, hey, by the way, bottomless pits. You gotta deal with it no matter. <sighs> Fuck you, game. And then I missed that. I don't even want to continue that run, because, yeah, there is no fucking way I can do that. Well, yeah, the, the TikTok Clock Red Coin Star is specifically titled to tell you to turn the clock off. It is explicitly called Stop Time for Red Coins. Ow. That one... Again, you, you get 100 coins at the same time you get red coins. It's pretty much free. 
that is a case where, once again, there is a pretty high value uh, blue coin switch. And that one I know you have to get. And these things get off the fucking platform because Lakitu is being a douchebag right now. Oh, are you gonna throw it on a third one? Fuck it. Oh my god. Get over here! I only got three of his fucking coins anyway. There goes a coin! Because... I screwed up, but I still want to blame the game for that one. Alright. Now, let's not fuck this up again. Am I dropping frames too? Good, I'm glad. Yeah, I've dropped like 2,000 frames. Great fucking internet service that Metro Knight has given me here. At least it's not AT&T. And there we go. I screwed it up. I lost another bunch of fucking coins. Oh, I hate this so much. This is just the worst thing that anybody could possibly have designed. Cool, we got all of Lakitu's coins. It's not gonna help us for this because of course not, but hey, it's still cool that it happened. All right, back here. Fuck you, Babom. I know that I'm losing a coin for that, but I don't care. It's always deserved. Alright, now, again, let's try and do this right. We did it right before. I mean, it's not that hard? What the fuck was that, Mario? You stupid, useless fucking... Ugh. This is probably gonna get really hard to watch for some people just by virtue of the fact that I'm getting this angry at this terribly designed video game. I mean, that too, but, like, just, I don't think that the whole angry streamer thing is necessarily that fun for a lot of people. Although, apparently, there's prob- I, I assume there's, like, a non-zero audience for that kind of thing, but, you know, I, I try to be a little less that, but here we are sometimes. Ah. <sighs> Oh, my God. 
back on the thing. Well, that was a camera angle. I think that's showing us part of the level that we haven't been to yet. Part of the level that we haven't been to yet, rather. Not just any level that we haven't been to yet, but this very level. Oh, that's gone. Get off me! Oh, that's gone. Yeah, we're doing real good this time. Good job! Holy... How hard is it to line that up? And why? Oh, right, because this game is shit. At this point, I think I can safely say that I would really rather just be playing, like, an entire game of just 7-4 from SMB3, which... 7-4 is a pretty awful level. It, it barely qualifies as designed, and it's very difficult as a result. Because it's basically just like, oh hey, we we put these Gelectros in really irritating positions, and oh, by the way, there's just various types of cheap cheeps coming at you that can clip through the Gelectros. And getting through that requires a lot of precision movement that is at least significantly more doable on the NES. And I, I think it is the absolute low light of the game, and is a major stain on an otherwise very high quality platformer. And I would rather just be doing that than this. Just an entire stream of just playing through that level repeatedly. Not even like, oh hey, I'm dying in it. That's, that's optional. How, how it ends is immaterial. Just the fact that I'd be playing just that. Okay, four out of five from Lakitu. I almost feel like I should leave these until later, so that way I... I know that there's a reason to come back or something, I don't know. Honestly, I almost feel like I should just cut to the end of the game. But... Although I didn't specifically say it to anyone, I... Oh, well, maybe because that one started fusing, it'll regenerate. I don't know if that's the case, but I hope so. I'd like to get that coin. I'd like to get these coins, too, but Mario has other ideas, apparently. You stupid asshole! You know what? We're going to go do a different star, and we're just going to ignore this one for a while. In fact, we're gonna go... we're gonna go to Tall Tall Mountain, because that's... the easiest of these levels... by a nice wide margin. And, in fact, it's quite a bit easier than some of the stuff that we've done already, if I recall correctly. It's just a little bit irritating getting to the top of the mountain over and over. I gotta remember where the... The thing is... Alright. Hey look, free one up. See, this is something that that other level needs. Oh wait, that level needs to actually have been designed. As opposed to just random chunks of shit they threw at the wall. Uh, Goomba, what are you doing? Other Goomba, what are you doing? Well, at least I can get it. That's something. However, that Goomba was not really moving in the water. I think he was permanently stuck. He just can't do anything with the physics. 
Also, I like how they just put one of these here. Just to be, like, really scary, but... If you hold back on the control stick, that's an easy source of five coins. I feel it is not really a useful idea here to be going for... 100 coins right off the... Okay, that's just there. Anyway, I say that because I don't know if we can actually get to this slide right now. This level has a slide because... Why not? I don't know if that's locked to certain stars. But if it is, then getting 100 coins is locked to those because... This level has a medium amount of coins, I believe. And it requires you to use the slide because there's a lot of them there. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try not doing that. I'm stuck in the mindset of Yeah, this level has a harder red coins than Rainbow Ride. Because there's more instant death. But it's not too difficult to figure out what you're supposed to do on a basic level. Nice work, Mario. You almost got yourself killed there. From walking into a wall at a modest speed. Mario, you need to learn how to grab things. And, like, actual things, not just, like, nothing. 62 in the slide, yeah. See, there you go. You... There's enough there that you have to do it in order to get the... 100 coin star here, excuse me. You have to get at least 25 coins in the slide, I believe, is what you need. Got hit by that, Mario, you useless sack of knobs. By the way, my frame rate is, in fact, absolutely tanking in this area, and the game is slowing down. It's not you. There's apparently just too much going on in this particular zone. What with the cannonballs, you can feel making the screen shake, the Monty Moles, everything else. Well, I don't mean, like, frame rate of the stream. I mean the frame rate of the game. The game was slowing down. To which all I can say is, wow, the expansion pack doesn't fucking do anything for games that aren't compatible with it specifically, does it? I know it's supposed to be like a... It's a memory edition. It should do at least something, right? 
But LOL, no. Anyway, yeah. So, we got that. Um, where is the pink bob bomb in this level? If we want to get that one star that's just hanging out over there. A Zelda 2 moment. Yeah, basically. That's a good way to think about it, because... That game has a lot of that going on, that there's just too much shit on screen. And it just kind of goes, eh, no longer, no longer do I feel like this. Oh, well, well, there's the pink bob bomb. Actually, there's a better way to do that than a pink bob on. I just have to... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just have to... Oh, fuck, apparently. I... That was pretty badly played. Worse than usual for me, actually. And so is that! Wow! Mamma mia. Let's go. Alright, so this fly guy is going to actually be our ticket to getting star number six here, which I'm going to try to do now. If I can dodge the monkey for long enough. Because I'm like, wait, how do I get to that cannon? I mean, I see that little thin strip of land. How do I get to whatever that's attached to? Backflip. All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to run the gauntlet here to get back up there. Pfft, run the gauntlet, it's not that bad. Be a dick, Chuck. Yeah, Chuck is gonna be a dick. And thus was born our classic. Uh, you know, eventually, eventually, that's what the Chuckster Piantis took after, and you know, nobody likes them. Okay, I'm sure somebody does, but... Oh, the Piantas. Oh, Mario Sunshine, what a game. <laughs> Amazing. Of course, we always have been there. You know, Chuck ya. Get off my mouth. Damn it!
Wow, what happened to my jump there? Aside from the fact that it disappeared. There's fly guy up there bombing me. fly guy, because I just saw a fly guy being clipped into the ground. Hey, monkey? Really? Can I murder this monkey? Apparently not, it's just invincible. And Fly Guy appears to have gotten itself trapped inside of a wall. Well, that is going to cause a bit of a problem, because that was going to be how I got to that star. Where is it anyway? It's over there. Okay, so that would have been pretty hard, actually. I'm trying to see if there's still a cheeser we can do other than we have to just go get in the cannon, which I think we're just going to have to go get in the cannon if we want that. Well, here's an idea. Let's go get another star, and that will save our having opened the cannon progress. And then we can do that later, and we don't have to keep coming back to the pink bomb. Oh, nice work, Mario. That, that's some good... Good that. We have to long jump in order to get across there, I see. And because Mario didn't want to jump out of the water, we are now all the way back down at the bottom of the mountain. Screw it, we're just gonna go shoot out of the cannon and we're gonna fail this star and I'm gonna be sad because I have to go get the the pink bob bomb again. And I'm going to very seriously consider just being like, hey, you know what? I'm going to go fight Bowser and that's going to be it. We're not doing 100% on this. Yeah, see, we, we didn't even get to the place where the fucking cannon was, because apparently physics... And really, this is the only thing on this part of the level that's really hard. I'm just trying to do this now because, again, you know, why not get that stuff out of the way? Oh, see, this time, this time the cannon's open here. Meanwhile, in fucking Rainbow Ride, every time we die, the, they let us attempt to reopen the cannon. Actually, come to think of it. I haven't been to that cannon in Rainbow Ride. Maybe it's still open. That would be really weird. Well, I mean, this whole thing is weird. All right. So now this, this part is just kind of, you gotta guess, basically, as to what's a good angle. And 
I don't really know how to do that very well. Well, we we managed to pull it off in one. Once we actually got the star, and once we actually got the in the cannon, anyway. Blast to the Lonely Mushroom. That is star number six for this level, I believe. Yes. Yes, it is. Give me just a second here. And that has defanged this level massively. Let's see if we can do a couple more of these real quick and I can, you know, stop sucking it up here. Yeah, that wasn't happening. I was just... Uh, I don't even think I got on that log right, really, which sounds real silly, but, you know, if you if you start spinning it in the wrong direction, it's not going to roll inward. It's going to try to roll outward where there's no outward for it to go. That's unnecessary. Saves the log's position. By the time I get back there, it will be still basically in the same place. Haha, <laughs> Bob, I'm walked off the cliff. That's great. Chuck ya. Don't be a dick. Oh god, I hate the fucking camera angle on that platform. Because it doesn't look like something you can easily run straight down. Yeah, and also the camera starts spinning when you're going across it, too, because, hey, game design, right? Fuck. Oh, fucking fly guys ruined the, the log approach twice. I clearly should just use the fly guy in order to get across the, the gap. That would be a smart thing to do. And yet, I'm not doing it. Oh, <laughs> 
the... Uh, sure? Okay. Gods. Chuck, yeah, get off my fucking mountain! Motherfucker! Here, hi, monkey. Nobody likes you. Hi, fly guy. Oh. Okay. Wow! I don't know what's going on anymore. Back on the path. And we're gonna go long jump straight into a cannonball. And we're gonna walk straight. And we're gonna get comboed! Now I have to actually dodge these things! Now I'm gonna grab two coins. To make sure I can take a hit from whatever's coming up. I no longer remember. There's an extra life. There's a star in that waterfall, which I know how to get that, and that's something that we'll be coming back to later on in this level. But otherwise, I don't know if there's a way we can get it right now. Alright, so this is about where the slide shows up. Let's see if it's available. Yeah, we can actually go on the slide right now, if we want to. Yeah, let's do the slide. Let's just do this level in completely the wrong order. Oh wow, we skipped one of those platforms entirely. Damn. This slide is one that is pretty rough to get around sometimes. Be careful on the, the material transitions because they will screw you up pretty badly. We're at 73 coins. Um... we get down there? Not enough, really. I'm... I'm gonna... Just cut to going to the next star. Mysterious Mountainside, which is star number four? Four. Let's go. And once again, the game really wants us to scale this mountain, but 
We've been screwing it up pretty badly the whole time, so... Alright, so I think we can dodge a few obstacles if we go up the rock wall here with the these four red coins. Thump, thump, you can tell we're near the cannonballs. But this time, we are on the safer end of things. So hey, at the very least, they do give you multiple paths up the mountain. Tall, tall mountain is not that bad of a level, really. I think it is a little overhated. Or at least I feel like people don't like it very much. It's, it's a pretty decent level. So is that... Let us get star 5 if that button is down. Yes, because that creates the, the one crate in front of the waterfall. That is, like, right down there. That said, if we, if we really tried, we could probably get it now. And we probably could. I just had to actually land in there properly. And you know what? We want to take the safe route here, so we're going to go all the way back down. I don't want to deal with that fucking log because it's been a complete mess. And also, the monkey is just kind of a jerk. And I'm consistently concerned about getting my hat stolen by the monkey. Although I wonder if that's a thing where it's like only if you grab the monkey the first time it steals your hat and then you have to grab it again. Although honestly, I only grabbed it before because I wanted to throw it in the river so that way I wouldn't have to worry about it. But the game was like, oh hey, by the way, we're going to punish you for thinking about that and having a concern in the first place. Don't think about it, just ignore the monkey. I know it's a really noisy monkey, but ignore the monkey. That's not advice for playing Donkey Kong Country, by the way. In that game, do not ignore the monkey. Because most of the time, the monkey is you. And you'd like to know where you are most of the time, wouldn't you? Maybe you wouldn't. Possibility. Anyway, we're back up here. Yikes. Let's hit the switch. Let's see if we can't get star five real quick here. No, selecting the Star 5 mission will not make things any easier for us, so... That's why I'm trying to just do it now. 
one who was curious. Oh, there's a lot of parts in this level that are really rough. Although, again, I'll take this over, like, any part of Rainbow Ride. There we go. And we avoided scaling the mountain for yet another star. Breathtaking view from bridge. We didn't even get on the bridge. There we go. We scaled the mountain. Here we go. Not as tall as it seems, especially not when we take the safe route. Alright. One more non-100 coin star here. Um, by the way, I've made a bit of an executive decision here that although I'm going to try to show off as much as I can in terms of the levels, I will not be grabbing 120 stars in this playthrough because too much of this game has made me too angry to really make me want to do that, and I'd like to finish it tonight. Instead of having multiple streams of me just trying to get Rainbow Ride 100 coins, nobody wants that. Anyway, this star is called Mystery of the Monkey Cage, also known as Scale the Mountain number two. That said, I will be putting this as a back burner thing for any point when I have variety streams and I feel like throwing this on, which I don't know that that's going to be a thing that I will want to do some of this, but, you know, if it comes up, I'm not going to nuke the file or anything, and it's on a cartridge, so it's a little bit harder for me to just delete it from the hard drive. So anyway, there's our monkey cage. I don't know if there's any way we can obtain the star before we go and do, you know, basically what is setting event flags here. If someone here is a little more knowledgeable about Super Mario 64 glitches, like, I don't know if, I don't know if Lears is still awake or whatever. And of course, at the top of the mountain is a monkey that we have to deal with, because why not, right? This definitely feels like a place in the game where they just did not have ideas for this big old level that they made, and they were like, well, actually it's not that big, and we don't know what we're going to do with it. So here's the same star again, but we put a monkey here. Come here. For being such a... God 
come on, quit being such an Elon Musk fan, you know? What the fuck is this? I... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Get back in the arena, you stupid banana-eating fuck! Yo, no, his children never learn to live repeat. Jesus. Are you still on the ramp? You're still over here. I... Can I even get this... St there we go. Okay. Uh I'm gonna be honest. I thought I was gonna have to restart the level. Yes, he finally made a monkey out of me. Oh, uh, no, no crunch sound. From the monkey cage, not from the monkey. Although, honestly, if it was from the monkey, I'd be okay with that, too. Here we go. Hooray! Alright, so let me go find you where Tiny Huge Island is. It's in the other door on this door. Alright, so to start this off, because I have something very specific that I want to show off about this level. The same monkey that torments Link in Link to the Past. I can't believe it. That's, uh... Oh yeah, to get into POD. Right. The monkey that charges you to enter the first temple, in the, the first level in the Dark World. Like some kind of an asshole. Alright, so this is a one-off. Huh. I did not expect that. I expected Bonk. Alright, so... Uh, Mario, why are you so bad at this? Are you... Why are you fucking this up right now, Mario? What? Also, yeah, that, that mini piranha plant really does mess you up. Anyway, that's... This star is called, I believe, Pluck the Piranha Flower. And as you can probably guess, that's not the one we need to... GET UP THERE! What fucking asshole put butter on this platform edge? Why am I having so much difficulty? It's probably because I have to pull back and hit A to jump out of the water, and then that's just screwing up the whole... Uh the whole thing. So what we're gonna do is we're going to skip that and we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna take a cannonball right in the you know sensitive area and it's not gonna be so good. This level is definitely very rough for a lot of reasons. A lot of them kind of stemming from the fact that a large amount of areas here are just kind of hard to get around. So we're going to go all the way to the top of Tiny Huge Island. They really like to go into the top of things. And in particular, I want to show off something that I think is one of the lesser known stars in this game, if any of them can be considered such. Because certainly, like, when you were a kid, did you know about about this? <laughs> For anyone who knows what we're gonna see here, I mean, I'm sure quite a few of you did, but... 
Like, if you didn't look at game FAQs or the strategy guide or anything like that, there's a fair chance that you might have just missed out on this entirely because the game does not really tell you how to do it. Do you see? There's a hole. And although we can't see it, we got a wiggler. We're also up on a platform, so we can't see the wiggler anyway. All right. There you go. Oh, wiggler's adorable, as always. <laughs> now I'm really mad. Oh wait, wrong meme. However, Wiggler gets easier the more you stomp on him because he just basically. Ch oh, did you jump? I didn't know Wiggler could jump. Did you? There's no reason for me to do this. Except just to show off that this is a thing. Um, the incredible Wolk. Yep. Oh, the little frown on the li Wiggler. That's actually pretty adorable. Uh, I'm sad. Yeah, see, Wiggler is one of those you would... Oh, we just shoved Wiggler to his death. Aww. That's rude. I just wanted the coins. Wiggler is a thing that I think you just would never find unless you saw the credits and found out, oh, hey, there's a Wiggler. Or just happened to really like butt-stomping things in the small world. Otherwise, it's just kind of a weird thing that is very out of the way. Nice work, Mario. That's what we expect to see out of you. So, the big Goombas, if I recall correctly, if you just stomp on them regularly, yeah, they give you one coin, but if you do a full, proper butt stomp, they are worth five coins. So if you're out here looking for 100 coins for this level, keep that in mind. I personally am not going to do that. I'm going to try and demo a little more of this level. Like, hopefully not getting eaten by Boss Bass, who now has, like, sunfish colors. Well, actually, I guess... I don't know, are some fish actually that color in real life? I'm pretty sure they're more of like a... a kind of a, a grayish green most of the time. But Boss Bass certainly has sunglasses, that's for sure. Right, what do you got here? Signpost. Dangerous strong gust, but the wind makes a comfy ride. Oh, get out from under there! Yikes! Alright, so I don't remember if Koopa the Quick's Revenge is a star you can get while you don't have that star selected, but yes, there is a second race against Koopa the Quick, which is in this level. And it's a lot harder than the one that we saw in bob -On Battlefield. But if we can do that, we'll, we'll show that off. Otherwise, I'm just sort of giving a bit of a tour of the level, so that way you can see what the basics are like. I might try to get into Wiggler's Red Coins, which is, honestly... Honestly, Wiggler's Red Coins is probably the hardest regular level Red Coins in the entire game. 
I mean, sure, it's not Wing Mario over the rainbow or whatever that one area was called. But it's definitely pretty tough. So, Coop the Quick is usually over here, right? So with nothing really to show for that. Um, uh, yes, for those who are curious, the cannon is open in the other side of the level. Yeah. Scoop of the quick left to sign. Dang, he's out training. Gotcha. So yeah, no Koopa the Quick for us. Which is perhaps just as well because Koopa the Quick is a... Koopa the Quick is just an asshole, frankly. I got nothing else, just Koopa the Quick is an asshole. So we're gonna try and get to where the entrance to Wiggler was. Go away, Chuck, ya! Not up for it right now. This platform is a little bit weird. To the point that I'm going to crawl. Just because you can see this shape is like... They threw additional zigzags into it just to make it slightly more irritating. But now we should be safe. And in here... Well, in here we can just walk right off the edge. Oops. But you can hear Wiggler up there. That is the downstairs of the Wiggler room. And the other side, uh, Wiggler, uh, up top is where you fight Wiggler. Down there is where you get the red coins. So I guess we're not getting those. Oh well. Also the tiny Goombas. Hey, run into me. Come on. I want to show this off. Yeah, they, they apparently are just filled with gunpowder or something, because they hit you and they they shove you real far. They burst and they make a cloud. Right, let's hit let's hit the P switch. Get cannonballed a couple of times, because why not? And what I'm going to try to do to round this level off in terms of my demonstration is I am going to attempt to do five itty bitty secrets. Which is exactly what you think it is. It's another five secrets type of star with all of them being on the tiny island. And then after that we will demo some TikTok clock and then we will go and fight our friend Bowser. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't remember where all, all five of the itty bitty secrets are, but we're gonna try anyway. Okay, yes, Fire Chomp, you are absurdly huge for this part of the level. Okay, so that opens the cannon on the small side, and... I don't remember where the... Well... Fine, I guess... I guess that Goomba really wants to see TikTok Clock. It's 
star specific selection for Koopa the Quick. Yeah, I figured. Alright, so TikTok Clock. This. This is a pretty cool level. People really say it's very hard, and I mean, yes, TikTok Clock is not easy. But. It's still probably one of my favorites just by virtue of all the kinetic motion and the fact that, well, as I said before, you can make its gimmick less of a gimmick. You can, you can shut things off. Unfortunately, Lakitu is going to continue to be a total Lakitu here. Also, yeah, a lot of coin blocks in here. Or at least a decent chunk of them. That's where a fair amount of the level's coins are. to the star. I think this one's called Get a Hand. Like a tool, yeah, basically. Classic, uh... Classic N64 camera, but this time we get to blame it on somebody. Yeah! That's fun. Yikes! Hooray! Alright, so... Oh, I screwed that up real bad. Because I had a, a dumb moment here. Um, I was about to say, oh no, I think it actually worked. It did not work. We're going to take a suicide here, and we're going to attempt to do this properly with regard to stopping the clock. And I think it's large hand controls it, with the hour hand not really having any effect. Yeah, see, if you walk in while the big hand is at 12, at the top of the hour, you stop the entire clock. The other times have, like, different periods, too. Like, I think one randomizes, even. Which is... Just un incredibly silly, and have fun making the level work with that. If that's even a thing. Oh, right, I, I probably could have, like, done this in a fairly more idealized path if I had skipped those coins for a moment, and then come back to them later, because I think you can just drop straight from there, pretty much, to the star, if I'm recalling correctly. Yeah, backflipping is going to be our best way to get up and down here. Well, up anyway. As we're down, you can just walk forward a little bit and you'll, you'll get there eventually. Yeah, see, there you go. There's... There's our star. And I think that's going to be as much of TikTok clock as we're going to show off. Let's go and try to finish the game. Or at least beat the game, anyway. Let's go do deal with that final Bowser level and final star. 
A big thing I forgot to show. Oh right, I should probably go and show off the the waterfall thing real quick. A Paper Mario tabletop game. That's pretty neat. So real quick, we're going to go back to Hazy Maze Cave, and I'm going to show getting dropped out the waterfall, and then we're going to go to the final Bowser. And while we're 20 stars short of actually getting 120 in the game, well, we're going to... We're going to save those for other times. Admittedly, I actually... I don't remember if there's, like, a different credit sequence for... Uh, not having 120 stars or otherwise different ending sequence. And I have... If there is, I haven't seen that in a while either, so... That'll be worth it for me, too. The show that off just to myself I don't think there's multiple endings in the game though I've, I think this is a little bit too embryonic for that but I could be wrong I could in fact be wrong Okay, so we'll, we'll get to see that, which is a thing that I've never actually uh, been aware of before offhand. It's been a very long time since I... I actually don't think I beat this game as a kid, only when I got older, and after that point, I have only ever seen, like, full playthrough, uh, you know, 120 stars playthroughs on various things on the internet. I don't need to do that yet. That was a little preemptive. Go back about your business, Dory. Lakitu, if you could stop being shit at your job, would be awesome. Oh, good lord. Where is anything? Dory? Don't be running off now. Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. Damn it! Okay, Mario, get to the surface, please. Dory, would you like to turn around, please? Oh, now you're just gonna s <sighs> Well... It's gonna be a minute here, I guess, because apparently... Dory just wants to... behave in whatever weird way it feels like here. Okay, Lakitu? There we go. Alright. Finally over here. I'm about to find out instead that I'm going for star number three. No, that's not true. Get a little bit of this music. And in fact, I think we can just walk out this way, really. Yep. Whee! Yeah, I don't remember that. That's pretty, that's pretty great though. I like that. All right, so now that we're done goofing off at least about this. Yahoo! Yahoo! 
Nice work, Mario. I figured, but good to know, I guess. That'd be really weird if it was actually uh, also an entrance, because... Excuse me. Yeah, all of the other uh, instances of that are indeed one way. All right. Now, we have an appointment with a thing that I was not able to show you properly, the Endless Stairs. Which are no longer so endless. Easy, do we even get the music? Oh, look at me not doing that properly, but... Uh, of course, everybody kind of knows the the infamous glitch that you can just backwards long jump up these stairs if you're good. And I'm not. And yeah, the, the endless stairs, when they're not endless stairs, don't even have music for them anymore. That's wild. Here we are, Bowser in the Sky, the last Bowser level. And... It is one where they really pull out all the stops. We are going to attempt to get the what is generally the final star in the game here. Number 101. Or, well, 101 for us, but number 120 for if you've completed the game. Just as with every other Bowser level, there is a red coin star to be had here. And there's a lot of, like, really ridiculous gravity-defying gravity objects here, like that. We got the mini piranha plants. There's a red coin down here. I think, on the Chucky platform. Or is it like over here or something? Well, there's a one-up. So at least there's that. And it's a fairly easy way to get back up. So let's go check the platform with the Chucky. Chuckya and the Fire Chomps. Sheesh. Yeah, see, this is what I was thinking, is that there's a, a red coin over here. We're trying to play this fairly safe, so we're, there's going to be a lot of me stopping to rotate the camera to make sure that I can see where the thing is and to make sure that I have a good straight shot for it. So, yeah, apologies to anybody who's like, well, you know, do it more like a Sanic level. Be like, no. That doesn't sound like a good time. This isn't a Santa game. Like expecting me to to do Santa style platforming in a Mario design game. What do you think this is, Bubsy? Oh, Bubsy. What a game series Bubsy was. think about the fact that the guy who created Bubsy, Michael Berlin, was like, oh, Bubsy 2 nearly killed the franchise, and and then he took control back of it, and he created Bubsy 3D! Mamma mia. 
Like, you're gonna talk about nearly killing your own franchise, and you... Meanwhile, Bubsy 2 is like an actual video game. Or at least a close approximation thereof. Or in Bubsy 3D. Yeah, what's up? What's... What's the deal with... Did it get fixed or did it get worse? That's... that's not great. That sounds pretty... unfortunate. Get up there. This. take this path up there, or I'm going to try to. Is this, let me say, is this something I can just backflip? I think this is something I can just backflip. If I do it from the right position, anyway. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Mario, you celebrate that. That's, that's some good work, Buster. There are very specific set of things. Oh, that's... That's pretty unfortunate. It's... It's a niche thing, but it's... It's one of those cases where... You know, it's something that niche can't be ignored, because if you do... Well, then, it's gonna start cropping up, and a lot more. This is another thing that I was referring to earlier about the amount of gravity defying stuff in this level. Oh jeez, that's that sounds like a lot of a lot of stuff you gotta go through there. Over one million experience points. Yikes, that's that's gonna take a while. Ugh. Oh hey, the two bombs coll collided into each other and they they both exploded. Neat. And there's still Goombas at this point in the game, because why not? So we are on track here to actually get this star if I can get the last red coin, which I remember where it is, more or less. It's just a matter of actually getting it. Because it's not in the nicest place in the world. It's in a place that's very, very easy to die. And it is right across this platform. So here they give you some wind. Goombas. Alright. So, yeah. You can probably just barely make out the sh Well, you could. There it is. Point number eight. Now, we need to make sure we don't die getting the star. 
which is not that hard. It's, there is a decent amount of leeway, but this place obviously, you know, makes me a little bit nervous because it's definitely the toughest of the Bowser platforming levels, but kind of the most fun. There's the most weird acrobatic shit going on, and I think this game is at its best when it's a pure platformer. Also, check out that shading on Bowser. Meanwhile, Mario is just in his regular textures. I like a, I like a camera angle. It's not trash here. So, yeah, here comes. Splitting fire, that's a new thing for Bowser. I feel like I've heard it said once or twice. Well, that was a massive failure. We're about to start seeing some of the new gimmicks for this fight. Are we? Maybe not. I actually really like how that shockwave effect looks. So anyway, uh... The blue fire, I've heard it said, and I cannot confirm if this is true, that one is always aimed at you when you... So if you try to grab Bowser's tail during that, it's pretty much guaranteed that you'll get hit. Notice at the very least that some of the some of the flames do turn into coins. You got that going for you. All right, Bowser, quit hanging your butt off of the edge. Come here. Fuck. This is gonna take us a bit, to say the least. isn't there? Nice, we got to we got to the final part of the fight on the first run through. So, here's the deal. Now this fight becomes way harder because the arena is tiny. Dodging Bowser's shit has become a lot harder as a result of this. We're going to wait out this fire breath and not take a chance with it at all. And of course, there's much less area for us to uh, to really mess with Bowser in. And now, you have to be throwing at full power in order to get enough reach to actually throw the bomb. Uh, to actually hit the bomb, rather. Because of course, if you throw him off the edge, he's just like, yeah, you know what, fuck you, Mario. Listen, what I let you do to me when we're doing go-karting and during this situation, that's completely different, buddy. Yeah. 
Alright, so I think we're fucked! Oh, well that actually erased the blue fire, so that's neat. Unfortunately, he had to do the... the, the fucking upward fire jet instead of doing something that we can actually deal with properly. Fuck, I hit that too early. You can tell I really don't have the timing down for those... ...those throws. the old sliding tackle. That's unfortunate. I was starting to think we were actually going to have a chance, and yet Bowser just decided to be a, a real Bowser about things, you know? That's right, I'm talking about you, Doug Bowser. I don't know very much about Doug Bowser personally, so it's just that it's an easy joke to make. Alright, like do I need you to not be up my phone buttons the whole time? Alright, so here we go. He's He's doing this. There's this cone of flame. Oh, that still counts, okay. I was about to say, wow, I was just barely not there. But no, that counts. Uh, let's pause for a second, see if I can get an idea as to... Alright, so... A little bit... So I'd say about 2 o'clock is where there's a bomb. And that was in the other direction, and, and then that's, like, right between uh, 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and by that it's, like, 45 degrees, so, hey, good, good work me, I'm using two different metrics of hashing out angles for that. Start winding him up. And yeah, this is another thing, by the way, is that if you fail a throw, uh, Bowser does have a chance that when he lands, he will knock out part of the arena. Whoa! Okay, I was not expecting that to work. Alright, so I gotta remember that my options are basically far left, uh, somewhere between 45 and 60 degrees up from far right, and basically 7 o'clock. Get it? Yeah! How about that? Only took me two tries, and I haven't fought this dude in a long time. Let's watch the ending together. Yeah, okay, thanks, buddy. Way to break the fourth wall, you... Dick. And yet, there we go. Told you, wing cap right as you grab the last reward from Bowser. Let's go ahead and check out that ending, I guess. As for what game is next, I believe that instead of starting a new game tomorrow or Wednesday, we're just going to be doing some variety streams for those particular time slots. And on Friday, we are going to be starting on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. 
because I should have my copy of that, and we'll we will see. We'll see that they threw back a little too hard, I guess. Oh, if I'm still doing anything today, I am not going to be doing anything after this. I'm just going to let the ending play out, and I'm going to uh, end stream pretty much right after that. Oh, hey, where'd those two toads come from? I guess they actually just ran outside after they they heard Bowser make that many noises or something. Maniac Mansion. I haven't played Maniac Mansion in a while. Uh, I'd have to like go dig that out and set things up there. Uh, speaking of Maniac Mansion, that I know is a game that there's an there's an NES version of Maniac Mansion for some reason, and it is very severely like, cut down in a lot of ways, uh, in terms of the content. Uh, cut down in terms of content. That's not exactly what I'm trying to express, sorry. It's censored relative to the original, because there's a lot of stuff in that that Nintendo was like, this is a little too violent for us to... to put in it. Or some stuff that is, like, done in very weird ways, that, like, they just didn't like the language. Um, so... Like, one area that one of the characters says something about, like, oh, she's gonna get her pretty brain sucked out, or something like that, and... The phrase, sucked out, was replaced with removed. Which doesn't change any of the meaning about anything about someone literally getting their brain removed from them. But it does remove the word suck, I guess. Uh, of course... The phrase, that meteor's getting pissed, was changed for obvious reasons. Uh, Nurse Edna, I believe was her name, was severely made to be uh, less of a pervert, basically. Because Nintendo really didn't want that kind of stuff to, to get into the hands of, of children. I feel it's a little unusual, I guess, that it's like, well, they didn't think at any point to just label things as like, hey, yeah, these are... these are for adults. You can the penguin. I... I do know about that, that you can re-race the penguin, but the penguin is, like, really, really bulky, very widened compared to... I don't just want to say the penguin's fat, because, yeah, the penguin's fat, but, you know, more specifically... Relative to the original, it's just like the penguin is stretched out horizontally and it looks really funky. Hey, there's Koopa the Quick. And yeah, it's a harder race, because... The penguin race needs to be harder, right? And yeah, uh, Maniac Mansion, Nintendo was just, like, not down with, with all the content, so it's... It's made a little bit more censored, and it almost makes me wonder, like, why did they think that, that was a good idea? Because surely, surely somebody would have known, oh, hey, this is a little bit on the nasty side compared to what we like to have in our, our content. Maybe they didn't. Maybe nobody played it before they were like, hey, let's license that. Uh -huh. Nintendo has always been a little bit weird about some of that stuff, so... Uh -huh. Thank you so much for playing my game. Hey, that's just the same end card as you get when you usually get uh, however many stars. Well, that is Super Mario 64. A little over 
two thirds of the stars completed. Uh, we got an additional 30 past what we needed to finish the game. 31, pardon me. And hopefully I should give you a pretty good idea as to what the game is like. At some point we might try to do some of the rest of those stars. I don't know for sure. Yeah, Bowser's dialogue is different. I did see that. At, at the end when you have 120 stars, he's like, what? There's 125 in total? Urgh. And yeah. This game is pretty good. There's definitely some parts, though, that are ludicrously hard. So, yeah. The the jump animation thing, that I believe you get by talking to Yoshi on the castle when you have 120 stars, and he maxes out your lives, and you get a much easier triple jump to do, and Mario starts spinning throughout the entirety of the triple jump and sparkling, which, you know, that's pretty neat. So yeah.